In these problems, we're doing some more multiplication of binomials. In this case, they're what um, is called a, a conjugate. Uh, the, the binomials are conjugates. And this is a term that's going to come up uh, again in advanced algebra. And a conjugate here is like this pair you see here. When you have two terms, um, a plus 6, its conjugate is a minus 6. So you take that second term and you just change the sign. Over here, we have a minus z, so its conjugate is a plus z. And kind of an interesting thing happens when you multiply conjugates. And there's a pattern there that will make uh, the multipl multiplication of conjugate binomials really quick once you see it. But let's just try using the FOIL method, which is what we usually use to multiply binomials. And, and then we'll just see what pattern arises here. So multiply the first terms. a times a is a squared. The outside terms a and negative 6 is minus 6a. The inside terms, positive 6 and a is plus 6a. And the last terms, 6 and a negative 6 is negative 36. When we combine the like terms here, the negative 6a and the plus 6a come out to 0. So we won't write that. And it's just a squared minus 36. Maybe you see the pattern already, but let's try one more. So multiply the first terms. 8 times 8 is 64. And outside terms, that's uh, 8 times z is 8z. Inside terms, negative z times 8 is minus 8z. Mm -hmm. And the last terms, negative z plus z is minus z squared. These terms add up to 0, just like in the last one. So we have 64 minus z squared. So you probably see the pattern here. What happens when you multiply conjugates is you take the first term and you just square it. And you take the second term and square it. And you put a minus sign in between. So you could write that as a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. And this is what's called the difference of squares. So that's the pattern we're seeing here when we multiply uh, conjugate binomials.